Breve Act is indicated as adjunctive therapy in the treatment of partial seizures with or without secondary generalization in adults and adolescents from 6 years of age with epilepsy. How to take course of administration and dosage. Inside, without chewing, drinking water, regardless of the meal. The recommended starting dose is 50 mg per day or 100 mg per day as determined by the attending physician based on the desired anticonvulsant effect and potential side effects. The daily dose is divided equally into two doses, morning and evening. Depending on the patient's individual response and tolerability, the dose may be adjusted from 50 mg per day to 200 mg per day, in which brevirocetam is effective as concomitant therapy with PSP. The initial dose saturation to the effective dose does not require consideration of tolerability of brevirocetam therapy. If one or more doses are missed, it is recommended to take the missed dose as soon as possible. The next dose is taken at the usual time in the morning or evening. Replenishment of the missed dose will avoid a decrease in the plasma concentration of brevirocetam below the effective level and prevent the recurrence of convulsive seizures. Contraindications Hypersensitivity to the active substance Children under 60 years of age due to lack of clinical data Rare hereditary galactose intolerance Lactase deficiency of glucose galactose malabsorption Terminal renal failure requiring hemodialysis Special instructions if it is necessary to stop treatment with brevirocetam, it is recommended to cancel the drug gradually, reducing the dose by 50 mg per day per week. After one week of taking a dose of 50 mg per day, it is recommended to take brevirocetam at a dose of 20 mg per day for the last week. Brevirocetam slightly or moderately affects the ability to drive vehicles or other mechanisms. Due to the differences in individual sensitivity to the drug, some patients may develop drowsiness, dizziness, and other effects from the central nervous system. Side effects The most common during treatment with brevirocetam, noted drowsiness and dizziness, these adverse drug reactions were usually mild to moderate in severity. The incidence of drowsiness and fatigue increased with increasing dose of the drug. The types of adverse reactions observed during the first seven days of therapy were similar to those recorded throughout the entire period of treatment. 